a high risk in pro wrestling. I mean, it's that ring is not just, you know, mom's California king size bed. Even if it's true that wrestling matches are predetermined, they are anything but fake. The safety of wrestlers and their moves largely depends on how well their moves are executed. But there is one particular thing that brings intrigue and flair to wrestling, it's weapons or objects. When a wrestler brings out an object and uses it in a gruesome manner it adds another depth of storytelling and violence to a match. In the various matches we have seen, we fans can't help but get excited whenever an object is brought in to wreak havoc, be it steel chairs, ladders, tables or other foreign objects. Some of the most memorable matches in wrestling would contain objects of some sort. Over time, there have been many speculations amongst fans pondering the question as to which objects are real and which are fake. In this video we are going to look at all sorts of objects used in wrestling and check out which amongst them are fake and which are real. But before we get started, we would love it if you could subscribe to our channel. Here at All Elite Club, we endeavor to provide our viewers with fresh, invigorating wrestling content. So your support means everything to us. Now without further delay, let's get started. Number 10. Tables. Wrestling fans do get their money's worth when they see wrestlers going through tables. Since the inception of tables in wrestling, superstars have generated a variety of ways to use tables, whether using it as a complement to their finisher, laying a wrestler on a table and jumping from the top rope, or a simple powerbomb through a table, every time it does seem to make devastating impact. However, the tables used in wrestling are harmless and don't cause any pain or problems for wrestlers. They are made of a thin layer of chip wood, making them fragile as opposed to sturdy, and any superstar going through a table does not suffer any pain from it at all. The only thing to be kept in mind is that the wrestler needs to be put cleanly through the middle of the table for a clean impact. When superstars are unable to do this, it does lead to awkward moments on TV, and the wrestler is required to be put through the table again. However, there is risk if the wrestler put through the table ends up missing it and falls outside the ring, which may lead to serious concussions, or if his body is damaged by the metal poles holding up the table. Number 9. Thumbtacks. It matters as Bear Garden! Oh no! 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 Thumbtacks! Oh, no. The second pedigree on the thumbtacks! It may come as a surprise to many fans to know that thumbtacks are 100% real. Any superstar going through thumbtacks is bound to feel the shock and pain on the impact. Thumbtacks were extensively used in ECW and during the WWE Attitude Era matches. But as the WWE reverted back to the PG era, they stopped using thumbtacks altogether, until recently when they made a one-time exception for the use of thumbtacks in the Asylum match between Chris Jericho and Dean Ambrose at Extreme Rules 2016. Mick Foley, the hardcore legend has clarified that the thumbtacks not only hurt on impact, but even as they are removed from the body after the match one by one. He even mentions that the pain even lingers for many days after being put through tacks. Number 8. Kendo Sticks oh, Stop it! I have enough! End it! End it, Seth! You proved your point! While a superstar holding a kendo stick in his hand may look menacing to his opponent and to the fans watching, it is probably one of the safest objects out of all others shown in this video. Kendo sticks are basically made from thin hollow wooden sticks, glued together with tape on both ends. Kendo sticks are very fragile objects and tend to break after a few hits. It is truly a great object in the sense that a superstar hitting another with the kendo stick gets over for delivering punishment to the other, while at the same time not causing any damage whatsoever. However, the only thing wrestlers need to worry about is that after a few hits, the kendo stick breaks off into separate strips of jagged wood, and are required to be used carefully or discarded or they may cause injury. Number 7. Barbed Wire Barbed wire is one such object, whose legitimacy is very much questionable, and there really is no straightforward answer. Barbed wire objects were heavily featured during the Attitude Era, especially in matches involving Mick Foley. They were also featured prominently during the Asylum years of TNA, and recently in a few Lights Out matches in AEW. 
However, whether the barbed wires used in a match are real or fake is a tough one. As sometimes the objects used feature real barbed wire, while at other times they don't. For example, in the barbed wire match featuring Mick Foley and Triple H at the Royal Rumble 2000, whenever Mick Foley was to be hit with a barbed wire object, he chose the object to be a real one, while when Triple H would be hit, a fake one would be used by Foley so that no damage would come to the game. In this case, it would be correct to say that the barbed wire featured in wrestling matches may be real or fake depending on the match and the wrestler's choice. Number 6. Guitars. The credit for using guitars as an object in wrestling should be credited to Jeff Jarrett, who has made this possible. Guitar shots look vividly devastating on impact, imploding on its victim and breaking into pieces upon impact. Guitars used in wrestling are all hollowed out from the inside, and hence consist of only the exterior, made up of thin wood. There is one particular incident however that had caused irrevocable damage to a wrestler caused by a guitar shot. This was the infamous segment where Jake the Snake Roberts was hit with a real guitar by the Honky Tonk Man. It was revealed by Jake the Snake Roberts that the person in charge of getting the guitar had bought a real one, which wasn't hollowed out properly, and thus causing such a heinous neck injury to the wrestling legend. Number 5. Garbage Cans The garbage cans used in wrestling are not at all like the garbage cans we come across in our daily lives. These cans are made from thin tin and aluminum which make them seem like real garbage cans, but are actually nothing but huge flimsy soda cans which deliver almost nil damage to its victims. Garbage cans are not only safe but they also act as a cushion against certain moves. For example, Shane McMahon's coast to coast from one end of the ring to another delivers tremendous damage and may cause injury if a superstar catches it full frontal. However a garbage can placed on the superstar before the execution of the move would provide a cushion against the impact. Thus the garbage can would not only be classified safe to use, but may even be encouraged during certain spots. Number 4. Ladders. If we compare all the different extreme matches in wrestling, the ladder match, or the TLC match would surely be in one of the top spots. Ladders are a great object which wrestlers can use to showcase their athleticism, use for causing damage as well as for various high-flying moves. However, ladders used in the WWE are not your typical everyday ladders. These are made from hollowed-out steel which make them lighter and less prone to injury. Furthermore, these ladders are particularly weaker in the middle enabling wrestlers to go through the ladder with a satisfying crunch on impact. Although it may seem that these ladders are harmless, they have caused many severe injury, such as the fate of Joey Mercury, who got his nose busted catching a ladder in the face in a match against the Hardy Boys at the December to Dismember pay-per-view of 2008. Many veterans of the ladder Number 3. Steel Chairs The steel chair is probably the poster weapon when it comes to wrestling. Through countless matches and segments we have seen without eyes various devastating chair shots delivered by wrestlers to one another and wondered how real they are. Matches such as the I Quit match between Rock and Mankind in the Royal Rumble 1999, where the Rock hit Mankind with 11 unprotected chair shots, just goes to show how gruesome chair shots can be. So it may come as a surprise to many fans that steel chairs used in wrestling are legitimate, and if chair shots are not executed correctly it can lead to dire consequences. The chairs used in the WWE are slightly different though, as when folded they are more flatter than a regular steel chair. This enables the user to execute a cleaner hit across a large surface such as the back. Chair shots to the head however have been banned in the WWE, owing to the fact that they have proven to cause serious concussions to many wrestlers. Number 2. The Sledgehammer. Certainly not the last time we'll see these two guys together. Oh my god! My god! What the fuck god! The Sledgehammer made famous by the game Triple H would make it his primary weapon of choice. Use of the Sledgehammer in any match and against any against the Undertaker, where the dead man was severely injured, the fake Sledgehammer was removed and Triple H would use a real one after that and would use his fingers to cover the hammer so as to cause no damage to his opponent. 
Number 1. Glass. There is one object that we wrestling fans are thankful for being fake, it's glass. In wrestling as in movies and other stunts, sugar glass is used in place of real glass, giving it a real effect on impact, but causing no harm to its recipient whatsoever. On impact, sugar glass breaks just like real glass and can be used in a variety of different ways such as window pane glass or glasses on car windows, giving them a lot of versatility. However, there is one notable incident where glass has proven to be deadly. In the King of the Ring tournament of 2001, in a street fight match between Shane McMahon and Kurt Angle, there was a spot where Angle was supposed to suplex Shane through two panels of glass. The athletes however were unaware that the glass frames consisted of real plexiglass and not fake ones. Shane had to go through two real glass frames and was bleeding profusely afterwards throughout the match and had to get about 50 stitches. That's it for our video of fake and real WWE weapons and objects. If you loved our video, do like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel, as your support means everything to us.